Hi everybody, welcome back to math. We're starting a new topic today. We're in topic four. Today we're going to do lesson one. This is one of my favorites. We're going to add two digit numbers using models. Um, our models, our models in math are just a fancy word for pictures, but we're going to use our base 10 blocks to do our math. And this is my favorite way because we can hold and touch these and we can, they really help us to understand what the numbers show um, instead of just being marks on the paper. So we're really, we want to be able to use our models and then be able to explain your work. Okay, not just copy what Ms. Hamilton is doing. Really understand what's going on here. So please don't hesitate to ask questions. Leslie collects 36 rocks. Her brother collects 27 rocks. How many rocks do they collect in all? So we have Leslie's rocks. And we have her brother. Let's call him Ricky. And we're going to put all of their rocks together into one big bucket. Hey, okay, Leslie's got 36 rocks and Ricky's got 27 rocks. All right, we're going to use our place value blocks to solve this. So Leslie has 36 rocks. I need to model 36. That uses three tens, 10, 20, 30, and six ones. And I'm always, always, always going to model those ones in the shape of a 10 frame. Okay, so this is 36. We count these by tens, 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. And then Ricky, or whatever his name might be, has 27. So we count these by tens. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Now when we're combining, this is what we do. We just put them all together. Okay? So here I'm going to actually put them together. And we're going to figure out how many we have. All right, did I change how many were out here? No, I just moved them. I moved them all to be together. So I noticed right away that we have more than 10 ones. Can we have, this, this is 10 because this is a full 10 frame. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Can we have 13 in the ones place? No, we were, no certainly cannot. When we have 10 ones, we can regroup, pardon me, we can regroup those into a 10. Do you see that those are equal? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I've got this 10, I'm gonna scoop these over to the side and I'm going to swap them out for this. Is that equal? Did I just trade something that is the same? Think about compensation where we did. We, we could add and subtract as long as we did did it to both add-ins, okay? So this is equal. I just swapped out 10 ones for one 10. I'm gonna put it over there with the other tens. Let's count it, count it. 10, 20, count with me, 30, 40, 50, 60. Counting by ones now, 61, 62, 63. Okay, so I got 63 rocks. Let me show you how we would draw that on our paper. And we've done some of this already. We draw 36 and 27. I will say I do my, my 10 frames sideways You'll see on the next page that the book is going to do them up and down. Either way is fine. All right, and I'm going to grab these two full rows of five. So I know that's five, that's five. So together that makes ten. I'm going to move them to the tens place. What's left over here? We have one, two, three ones. 
10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So a 6 in the tens place means 60. 63 rocks. That's how we would draw that. Okay. You can show 47 and 26 with place value blocks if we have this equation. 4 tens, 7 ones, and 2 tens, 6 ones. Join the tens because we're combining for addition. And regroup if needed. That was where we switch things out for something that is equal. Okay, we can switch out 10 ones for 110, and we can do it the other way. If we need to get some ones, we can trade a 10 and get ones. So here they have six tens. So over here they had four tens plus two more tens made six. But they've got all these ones, so they put 10 of them in a circle, and they moved them over here and made a 10. So all together they have seven tens, three ones. What, does, what do you do when you regroup when you're adding? Think about what happened right here and what we did on the front. Okay, I want you to use a sentence to write that. Pause the video and start it back when you're ready. For the guided practice, we're going to add, we're going to use place value blocks, and we don't even have to draw them today. They are going to draw them for us to find each sum. Regroup if we need to. Of course we're going to regroup if we need to. It's kind of a silly thing for the book to give us permission to do. 32 plus 29. Let's start with our ones. Well, I can see that this one only needs one more to make a 10. So I'm going to snag that one. I'm going to move it over here, and I see that I have one left in the ones place, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six tens. If I'm counting like that, it's okay to say six because I'm saying six tens, or I could say in the tens place we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. The value of the tens place is 60, but six tens. So the number that has six tens and one one is 61. What about over here? How many ones do we have? Count them. Okay. Six ones. Can we have six in the ones place? Of course. Of course. And in the tens place, we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. 70. So that would mean we have seven tens. And this number is... 76. Last one. 15 plus 38. So we have five ones here and eight ones here. I'm going to grab these two because they would fill up this 10 frame. And I'm going to have to be sure to remember to move them over to the tens place. I can't just put them in a circle and forget about them. It doesn't matter where you put that 10. And guys, Definitely, we're just going to draw sticks. Do not try to draw rectangles with 10 little squares in them. Okay, that takes way too long. I'm just going to draw a straight line that's about the same height as the other 10s. All right, what's left is three ones. One, two, three, four, five tens. Five tens, three ones is 53. And there we go. Let's look at the next page. You're going to use your place value blocks to add and find the sum and regroup if needed. I'm going to do one more for you that doesn't, since we don't have any pictures here, just to remind you. We're going to first model both of our add-ins, and we're going to model them on top of each other. So 36 and 29. You are going to have to be neat. There's no question about it. This is, we're just starting, but it's going to continue to get more complex and have more things going on. You have to be neat. We are going to do this a lot. So if you need to erase right now, 
Let's go ahead and do it now and really focus on keeping your lines straight. We're not going to scribble up and down like this to make your lines really dark. It's going to probably put a hole in your paper. Um, and we're going to start over here on the left and use our space wisely. Okay. All right. This nine just needs one more to become a 10. I know that because I know nine plus one equals 10. Okay, so what we have left in the ones place is one, two, three, four, five. And in the tens place, we have one, two, three, four, five, six tens, which is 60, 65. All right, you do it next. Make sure to give yourself space. All right, down here for number 12, 13 and 14, it says read the sum. Circle all of the number pairs in the box that match that sum. So to equal 22, we could do 10 plus 2. Now this says number pairs. How many are in a pair? Right. And it says circle all of them. It doesn't say there's just one. 4 plus 18 is also equal to 22. You think there are any more? I don't know. All right, 55 and 83. Number 15, model. Oh, I like that because it means we're going to make a picture. It says so solve the problems below and show your work. Show, show, show your work all the live long day. All over your paper, please. Later we can play. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Chen counts 47 buttons. Then he counts 20 more buttons. How many buttons does Chen count in all? Be sure to put your answer on the blank. Well, STEM question, we love STEM. There were 24 earthquakes in the US, United States one year. There were 28 earthquakes the next year. How many earthquakes were there in those two years? What are they, are they asking us to compare or take something away or combine something? How many earthquakes were there in those two years? That means we're gonna put those two years together. Number 17, write an addition story about the desks and chairs in your classroom. Use pictures, numbers, or words. If you're at home doing this, you can write your addition story about something at your house. And number 18, do you have to regroup to find each sum? Choose yes or no. So 62 plus 34, would we have to regroup? If we had this drawn out, we'd have two ones for the top and four ones for the second add-in. Would we have to regroup? All right, you do the next three. All right, guys, thank you for working along with me. If you want to rewind the video and watch it again, you may. Remember, you can speed it up by clicking the little gear icon in the bottom right and make it 1.25, 1.5, 1.75, or even two. Two is double speed if you need to watch it again and want to see it quickly. All right, have a wonderful day, and I hope you uh, learned something. Bye.